the next equation we notice that it has a set of parentheses so it reads negative 2 that multiplies or in parentheses 3x plus y equals negative 10 now this might look like a very difficult one but if you remember your order of the operations you should at least know where to start from order of the operation says parentheses first so that's exactly where we're going to start now remember that here that negative 2 will multiply each one of the terms that you have inside individually obviously so what that tells me is that I have a negative 2 that multiplies 3x and a negative 2 that will multiply my y so we're gonna start by doing this multiplication negative 2 times 3x will give me negative times a positive negative 2 times 3 6 and I drop the x now I have to do everything all over again for the second one which in this case is y so negative times a positive negative 2 times y don't forget there's an invisible one there if you prefer to see it that way that'll be 2 times 1 2 drop the y equals negative 10 after we do that we will notice that all that we have is one of the equations that we had before so again my goal is to isolate y leave it alone so I will do that first to establish my goal I have to cancel negative 6x and negative 2 but negative 2 happens to be the coefficient of y so I will leave it for last how do I cancel negative 6x with the inverse now I don't want to cancel only the 6 I want to do everything together so I see negative 6x the opposite will be plus 6x what I do to one side I do to the other I will notice now that those two cancel I have negative 2y equals 6x minus 10 being in like terms the only thing that I can do is write them next to each other so now the only number that I need to cancel is the negative 2 that is the coefficient of my y so for me to cancel this I need to do the opposite B this being the coefficient I know that this is a multiplication so the inverse will be divide don't forget you have a negative 2 multiplying so you will have to divide by a negative 2 and on the other side each one of your terms will have to get divided by negative 2 in this case so the negatives 2 cancels you have your y isolated or alone and now you have this right here positive divided by a negative gives you a negative 6 divided by 2 it's 3 you drop your x and then we do it again negative divided by a negative positive 10 divided by 2 5 and this is your final answer